If you or a loved one has recently suffered a felony conviction, time is of the essence. Hello, I'm Patrick Clancy, Innocence Legal Team founder and chief strategist. The Innocence Legal Team has long experience in successfully obtaining conviction reversals on appeal. An appeal is very different from a trial because there is no jury and there is no new evidence presented. As discussed in the previous video, the appellate court can only review errors contained in the record on appeal, which is one reason a motion for new trial is so important. The Court of Appeals determines if a legal error was committed that caused prejudice to your case. If the finding is in your favor, a new trial is granted. The Court of Appeals does not decide if the jury made a mistake of fact in deciding your guilt. This is a common misunderstanding by the public. The appellate case will be decided by a three-judge panel, primarily on the basis of written documents called briefs that have been filed by your team of attorneys as well as the prosecutors. It is critical that the attorney handling this part of your case have excellent research and writing skills, as well as the ability to carefully select and frame the issues that are the most powerful and convincing. Special rules governing appellate court procedures differ greatly from those of the trial court and require expert knowledge and experience to address properly. Even though an oral argument may be presented before the decision is rendered, the appellate justices often have already come to a tentative decision based upon the written briefs. That is why it is so important that the briefs be of top quality. This appeal may be the last opportunity to overturn a conviction and ultimately regain your freedom. The skill of your team is critical for this to happen. An appeal is a multi-step process that can take several months or even years. Your team will obtain and thoroughly review the transcripts of your trial, which is your record on appeal. The attorney will also review the trial court files and all relevant exhibits that were introduced at trial to determine if the record on appeal is complete. This ensures the Court of Appeals have everything it needs. If anything is missing, the appellate attorney will move to augment the record on appeal and make sure that the missing materials is sent up from the trial court to the Court of Appeals. Once the complete record is on file with the Court of Appeals, the opening brief is prepared and filed. This is the key document in an appeal. It persuasively sets forth the issues on appeal, supported by arguments and legal authority, along with succinct factual and procedural summaries of the case. The prosecution then has an opportunity to file a respondent's brief that addresses the issues raised in the defendant's opening brief. After reviewing the respondent's brief, your attorney can file a reply brief to rebut the prosecution's argument. After the briefing stage is complete, the Court of Appeals reviews the briefs along with the record on appeal. The parties may then request oral argument. The presentation of the argument takes place in front of the three-judge panel that will decide the case. Once the case is finally submitted to the Court of Appeals, the decision usually follows within 90 days, but it can take longer. Should the decision be against the defendant, a petition for rehearing may be filed to address errors of logic or law. If rehearing is denied, a petition for review can be filed with the California Supreme Court within a given time frame. If that fails, there is still the possibility of federal court review if there are federal or constitutional issues. The Innocence Legal Team can also address the issue of release on bail pending appeal. If you or a loved one has been sentenced within the last 60 days, it is especially important that you act now to preserve your appellate rights. Please call us at the number on our website.